First episode, what did you guys think? Well, I know what you guys thought. You don't even remember the anime. There's so many comments of people saying like, Oh yeah, I watched it before. I forgot the plot. Is it that forgettable? Well, so far it's looking like um, Empire versus which nation? The Sovereignty. And there's Romeo and Juliet's story where there's a guy from the Empire and a girl from the Witches and it's a forbidden love. But at the end of the day, they're going to come together and have peace like that. Main characters, pretty busted. He's like a saint's disciple. He has like anti-witch uh, magic tech sword. And you, you can also use like the swords also has like the witch's magic powers. He can copy the stuff. The designs are pretty good. Everything seems... All right, I'm down to watch this if we can catch up just in time for season two. We'll be a little bit late, but we're going to try our best. Let's begin today's reaction. Saw her at the play. That's like a neutral zone. He too down bad. せめて部下の相談だけはなりたいなって。こんなんか複雑そうな表情してるって思ったの。え、知ってますか。指してみなさい。あ、there's あと。あと。でもどうすれば解決できるかな。私の場合は悩み事があっても。ラサンズ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Oh, oh, it's very wet. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you again? Huh? Ah. Neutral! It's like illegal here, right? I wonder who would enforce those laws, right? It's so interesting how the neutral city exists, even though it's like empire versus like the witches' sovereignty. But like, a neutral city exists, and who would like punish? What is. I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like a neutral city is just born for disaster where something bad's gonna happen here. Someone's gonna break the rule, man. All neutral cities. Okay, not just one city. There's many neutral cities. Sweat from my eyes? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sweating from my dick too. Doesn't mean that I did a nut. Like, what do you mean? Oh, a little polite bow. Just the uh, well-mannered witch. Okay. All the other neutral cities would turn on them, huh? Interesting. We're definitely going to meet at the pasta place, right? Are we going to keep meeting? All the tables are taken, but there's this one gentleman sitting alone. You want to join him? Oh, it's you again. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. Anyone here? Anyone here we know? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> And this isn't the end, right? Because the opening also showed her in a museum and looking left and right with him. So, like, later on after this, we're going to go to a museum and we'll be like, wow, nice art. What? Run the pond time. Mm. To eat pasta! Yeah, that's my table, bitch. You came in here unreserved. The witch and the maid was kind of mysterious and cool and like menacing last episode because we just met them. But with these cunny slice of life moments, they're becoming a lot more just casual, you know? <laughs> they might be stupid as fuck, dude. Are they just that dumb? Oh, it's so taboo. Oh, hand touching! Same menu. Alright. Wonder if he's gonna pay for the dinner too or the lunch. <laughs> Leaning in together, bro. This is reminding me of Toki Toki Literature Club. We're reading the same book with Yuri, you know, she's turning one page, I turn the other page. Wow. No. You do? What? In just one line, the entire thing. Two sentences. <laughs> They're meant to be. They're soulmates. The tea as well. Uh huh. Bro. Yeah. What else do you like? あなた。一番好きかも。これみたいにクリームで和えるのも好きだけど、胡椒だけで味付けしても。Mm, wow, we're vibing, man. We got, you know, things in common. <gasps> Wonder what she feels. She, she feels devotion and loyalty to the queen, right? The princess, sorry. And then, does she feel jealous here, though? That, like, you know, he's vibing? Or is she just like, oh, uh, uh, we shouldn't be doing this with an imperial soldier? I don't know. Is, is she, like, being professional for a job? Or is her personal feelings coming out? Yeah, you yapping. Leave the yapping to me. <laughs> it's like a boyfriend and a girlfriend at a date eating dinner, but then the parents is also there and just, like, scolding them. Al dente? Based on my knowledge of cooking by watching TikToks, al dente is the form of pasta where it is not completely cooked yet, but just cooked, such that you take it out and you put it back into the pan with whatever proteins or stuff you had, then you start fucking making the sound of love, and while you and then it cooks to completion in the pan. Fancy ass room. 
王様に報告しなければなりませんたとえ分かってるわよ The handkerchief. 敵の兵の私物ですあの剣士は怪物です、mm-hmm. いつかアリス様にとって、mm-hmm. 最も大きな壁となって立ち Or the greatest ally if we have the same goals にだって責任はあると思うのと言いますとリンがあそこで、yeah, you became the common enemy to unite against. パスタはアルデンテが思考。She is holding that like they are being very like, no, I am not budging. アルデンテ or nothing. Yeah, I don't know. These again, it just humanizes them more. Where like, you know, maiden, she's all like, because like last episode, she was wearing a veil and it was all mysterious. It's like, oh, kind of scary, but it's just like, they're just like regular teenagers, you know? パスタはアルデンテが思考。異論は認めませんバカバカまぁ、instead of calling him by his, like his name, I, instead of calling him Blue Turtle, I should call him Raccoon. Because like if I preface the word, you know, the slur that they, YouTube thinks it is with rat in the beginning, like that may be better than Blue Turtle. I know we're getting off topic, sorry. My brain. <laughs> This is what happens in my brain, by the way. Like, you think I'm watching the anime? I, I'm thinking about 17 different things in my head. Like, you have no idea how much ADHD I have. Like, you think I'm watching the anime? I'm, I, I, I'm not here right now, okay? I'm in this flow state where it's just like. <laughs> They're sync! They're synced! So we're just going home for neutral city, I think. Princess! Are you telling Wait! He's not going home right now! This is backstory! They might they already met back then! <laughs> Crazy, it's if the stars aligned. Star he doesn't even remember. He's not remembered, but he's like, oh, who was that blonde girl? Was it maybe, you know, uh Alice? Like, what's going on? Did they introduce themselves? Nah. It's just one fateful encounter. <laughs> the odds, bro. Everything is just destined. <laughs> Honey, Captain. Oh, give me some water. Sleeping hook you, Shinaga, and a tall hacker, and Nantakara. The captain is way too cunning, dude. Who is that? New girl? Nanda, Lisa, Lisa, he's catchy. He shall saw. Ima, boy, Kiko, no, special defense for humankind. HQ special. What the? Special defense for humankind's age, humankind's uh, us basically, not the witches. Special counsel, special defense. Okay, important people. Sorry, I'm just. Her, her name is Miss Miss? Nickname. Nickname for Miss Miss. I thought it was a different group, but she's basically our, like, handler now. Okay, okay. I've been just calling her Captain. I'm like, what's her real name? Okay. Yeah, he's too busy thinking about women. I wonder then if this is gonna be a tragic love story between Iska and Aris, right? If it's. I don't know. There's obviously a lot of parallels in the theater play, but like overall plot, maybe we're gonna have a happy ending. We probably don't have to worry about that. We're gonna get season two, and that's gonna be long, and I doubt we're gonna get to end game content. <laughs> but it's a ticket for what? What is it? <laughs> this is the art gallery that we saw in the opening where they're like. You're here too? Are you ambushing me? What are the odds, man? Neutral city. Oh? Oh, she looked like. Let's see a mother. He was one. Oh, he was one. Got it. Oh, she looked like. Oh, she looked like. Okay, the founder witch is a wind lolly. Okay, she's sealed and we need to unrelease her. Okay, okay. Nebidus one, Nebidus two. 
王家の血筋の始まり。Wait, wait, 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 wait. Nebulous one is the copy. No, no, a younger twin. Wait, wait, what is it? Younger twin sister. Founder is right. Nebulous one left. Younger twin sister, and she starts the royal bloodline. Not the founder. Huh. Interesting. In yeah, yeah, I, I remember from the opening, but like. The second sister is the one that starts the lineage. The founder did not give birth. Okay. Watashi Alice of Kumu, Oke no Chisuji no Hajimari ni Ataru Kata des. Samani, Imoto ga ita koto s h i r a Yeah. Dakara Nebulis is saying a nakunata toki. They rejoiced over the Grand Witch's death.、Uh, got it. Younger sister is dead, but that's why the founder is still alive, and that. Okay, got it. So nano d e s g a She's there right now. Shiso Sama no Imashimega. Kenka got Tanoga. Aris, Anata got Neuruka no Mori de Teco no Kenshi to Tataka. What's the coincidence? Sereva Yadonushi de Aru Ningen no Kikini Han no Shimas. Yeah. Oak no Serena is saying he had no statue because they were in danger. Sereva Shiso Sama no. The more we are in danger, the more the founder will start to become released because the astral powers will react to it and release the bind. Okay. How does she even get binded, though?、Mm -hmm. He did use, you know, a similar magic, but then it was because his sword could use that astral magic, right? But this is what caused it? Because it, this was a pinch, right? This is when she was in danger, right? Aris. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's specifically the sword that's you know, doing it, or because like the justification, the logic was every time people are in danger, the astral powers resonate. And, so, and, and it's coincidentally also the founders, but there probably is a special connection with the sword, right? Like Master Crow also said, like, this sword is so important for the astral powers and blah blah blah. So there must be a connection with the sword and shit. The terminology awakened before using the skill. I'm not sure how much that matters, but it's, it, it, the sword must be related. どうかされましたあ,、うん、あまり難しい眠れてないし何か気分転換しない Change the scenery! Let's go art gallery! Oh, we're gonna forget about i s k a and it's gonna clear my head! Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, uh huh, let's go there. Yeah, it's gonna happen! Yeah! Lightning doesn't strike the same place twice or something, is what they say, right? Like, if you really want to be safe, you should go to the opera again. If you go somewhere else, like, I don't know if you're gonna meet in the art gallery, man. We probably enjoy the same art, man. Huh? b i b r a n k is an impressionist artist. Of the okay, we're here to see b i b r a n k b i b r a n k who is the Empire's artist. Alright. <laughs> she folded so quick! She says, Shall we go? Okay, let me just grab your hand. Like, there's a multiple cases where she just immediately subconsciously just goes along with them. She's like, Wait a minute, no, we're enemies! Oh, just a r i s Hot take. The first episode was very serious and dramatic. Second episode is very slice of life and cunny. And I kind of prefer this right now. What have I become? I've become a cunny slice of life enjoyer. I've become the thing that I hated when I was a kid, thinking, if we're not doing action every episode and killing some demon lord, there's no point watching. But like, I'm appreciating the slice of life cunny more now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Rats! Yeah, where's the maid at? I thought the maid's gonna be around. I guess the maid didn't want a third wheel this time. <laughs> She threw that pretty hard. I wanted the kid to get hit by the ball. Wow, you came here for me? He's so naughty. He's so I'm not a neutral city. Oh, folded. <laughs> That was easy. 
Yeah, it's your favorite one. It's my favorite too. V Brunk? That is such subtle detail. What? He loves everything about this paint but the painting. He just pointing out the different flaws and different things that the artist might have done during the process and thinking, wow. He put in so much effort, but he doesn't really give a fuck about the actual, I don't know. He, he's like glazing like these little subtle details, right? But it's like, it's everything but the painting itself. Never draws people, only scenery. Is this supposed to represent something? I feel the same, of course you do. We're destined. Aqua got Shiwa Shiwa! The expensive stuff! She was she I can't, I can't just I, it's weird hearing Aqua's voice actor just like be normal man it's just so weird right Sunset lighting guys what's going to happen He broke <gasps> Oh man we could have had an indirect kiss scene if we only had one but it's all right is he like 16 Yeah how old is she? Like same? She's like 17? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The mood changed. Wait. <laughs> he just fell asleep. I, I, I don't know. We were, we were vibing and then he just fell asleep. Oh, oh, oh. We dozed off. What's he going to do now? Oh, on the titty. Imagine he's not actually sleeping. Imagine this is all part of his plan, bro. <laughs> all according to plan. If only we had a scene like that, but it's not this kind of anime. You could what? Whoa, 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 if, if, whoa, 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 whoa. If, if I wanted to end your current state, I could kill you is what she's trying to say. Because we're enemies. It's a neutral city, bitch. What are you trying to say? The enemy you and I met was... Lovers. This is the, uh, Empire. We will reinstate the successor of the Black Steel Iska back to Saint Disciple, okay? We're not gonna do that. So it's basically the Boomer Council just basically reinstating him to position title. Even though he is already that strong, he did get stripped of his title because he did something naughty with the pink haired girl before, right? But that is today's episode and you know what? Even though there was like no fighting, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I like these cunny slice of life date moments, they're pretty good. Now, why is the anime going out of its way to show so many coincidences, right? Is it? I, I, I doubt it's just because... Like, like I, I doubt they're doing this just to, you know, make them romantically get engaged together. Like, is there a deeper meaning behind all the coincidences and how they even knew each other in the past? Well, they didn't know each other, but they met in the train, right? The train crash thing, he was there, she, like, killed the other animals. Like, I don't know. I don't know. There's something going on here, though. Other interesting thing is the plot of the founder. So, basically... Main Lolly, Origin Lolly, and Twin Lolly. Twin Lolly was known as the Great Calamity Witch right now, and she's supposedly dead. She, you know, had all the offsprings too. The Main Lolly never was active there. She was always somewhere else doing her own shit, and now she's in this binder position, and she's slowly becoming undone. And the events that really triggered this the most recently was the fight with Iska. The scene that also was shown was the Awakened part with the swords and the magic happening. Was it specifically the sword magic? I'm not sure. They said that once a witch kind of gets in danger, the astral magic or power kind of resonates from the people within. But there's a lot of interesting mysteries going on here to keep us at toe, right? Just keep us kind of engaged. So that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.